You ever wish you could just grab a protagonist, shake him a little and scream she likes you in his face? No? You must not watch much anime. This anime on the other hand has quite the mouthful of a name. Endo and Kobayashi Live, the latest on Sundere Villainess Liselote. Okay, that was in English and I'm pretty sure I got at least one word there wrong. Either way, the story follows Sigwald, the main love interest of an Otome game. For those of you who don't know, an Otome game is basically a princess themed game marketed towards girls about gathering a harem of men. All you need to know about it beyond that is that usually there is a villainess, a, f a female character who usually opposes the main protagonist. And for a while there's been a growing genre of anime and manhwa and manga and, and basically all sorts of non-American media focusing on the villainess and reincarnating into her or controlling her or saving her, all these kinds of things. Why? I couldn't tell you, I just know that several of them have gotten really popular. Either way, the thing about this Otome game is the main love interest, Sigwald, can hear commentary coming from Endo and Kobayashi, two real, with air quotes, people who are currently playing the game. He believes that they are gods. They are trying to matchmake him with the villainess. It's... It's very absurd. The first episode of this anime is mostly dedicated to just setting up the premise and making all the characters familiar with what's going to happen. The characters in and of themselves are rather lightly characterized. There's Lizalot, who is a Sundere villainess. She, unlike most villainesses, she isn't really a bad person, she's just a Sundere who has a very tragic end. Then there's then there's Fien. Then there's Fien. Then there's Fine. I don't know how to pr I've, I've already forgotten how to pronounce her name. Either way, she's the actual protagonist of the game. She's pretty much a non-entity in this first episode because, well, she's no longer the protagonist. Is Siegfried has kind of hijacked that, and she doesn't really do much. I'm sure she'll have more to do later. And then finally, we come to Siegfried. He's basically hijacked the position of MC and is currently being confused by the god slang and asking and wondering what the hell they are talking about. Also, he's discovering exactly how cute his fiance is. Yeah, also, uh, did I forget to mention that villainesses are usually engaged to the main love MC. You know, this is technically the first villainess anime I've ever watched. I've read a manga for one. Well, it was barely a villainess anime, and I've read like 30 chapters of it. And I've mostly read a few manhwa, several of which I've just dropped. Either way, this is gonna be a new experience for me, and it seems pretty interesting. Endo and Kobayashi are the real people who are co running commentary on the game and discover that they can talk to one of the characters. Kobayashi is an avid fan and Endo is a guy who has a crush on the girl who is an avid fan. Yeah, the two of them are playing out their own rom-com adventure. It's... Well, I don't have much to say about it. The like, the characterization of this episode is actually rather light, all things considered. It's all shunted in favor of world building and exploring the premise and making sure everyone is on the same level. Also there are going to be 4 new characters, like I said Otome games are usually harem games, so there are going to be 4 male, there are 4 other male characters that are going to have some importance, of which variety, well I think the theme song has at least spoiled one but beyond that I don't really, I can't really tell you. It's an interesting premise and I'm really hoping the story can keep up with it. It would be really unfortunate if it was just a mediocre story being carried by an interesting premise. Though apparently Twitter might seems to think that Siegfried is hilarious based on the manga so there is hope. And even though the characterization is light, that's not to imply that there's nothing there. They're, each characters have their moments. Like Kobayashi, whose first instinct upon realizing that she can talk to the prince is to tell him to kiss her favorite character. She is my favorite. Or Siegfried, whose first question to the gods, his only question to the gods, is trying to figure out what a Sunday race is. He's my second favorite. Yeah, this anime isn't really something you should be taking way too seriously. Like I said, it's basically a rom-com where the where characters in this anime are talking to characters in a game that exists within their world. So I can totally excuse the prince asking that question. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be, sit here and ask poetic about how he should have asked about how to save or maintain the kingdom because that's really not what this anime is about. Either way, it seems like it's gonna be pretty fun. 
Also, I should probably mention there seems to be some sort of building mystery regarding real world actors. I don't particularly care for it because it's not relevant yet. But we'll see how it goes. Clearly, this anime has some ideas on where it wants to go that's a bit more complicated than simply you can talk to your favorite game. So, I will be keeping up with this. Whether or, the, whether or not I'll be watching it weekly is another question. Either way, like I said, it's a pretty interesting premise for an anime g giving comments about a game that you're playing currently without actually having to go in or reincarnate into a character or possess someone and just being considered a god while you're trying to ship your two characters you really like together in order to avoid tragedy. We'll see how it goes. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button below, leave a comment about your thoughts and subscribe for more content as well as check out the playlist for more of my first impression videos. Thank you and good day.